So with this next bit, I actually had to um, play around with a way to work out how I'm actually going to accomplish the whole cockpit and this back area as well. So let's first work on this front piece. And I'm going to kind of model off a, of the, what the interior of a car looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a plane. Let's tab to go into edit mode. Turn off proportional editing again. Mirror modifier. And I'm going to enable clipping. So let's move that to this side there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press 7 to go into top view. And I'm going to kind of get it in the middle. So I'm just going to try and get that arrow pointing at his nose. And let's pick this edge. And we want probably about here for where the edge of the dash will be. Let me extend this all the way out. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to do control R and do it a whole bunch of times. We want a flat surface in the middle is what I'm after. So an even amount of edge, edge loops. I'm going to turn the proportional editing back on by pressing O and I'm going to drag this up and use the mouse wheel to scroll a little bit. There we got that. That's kind of, kind of what I'm after. Let's move, whoops, I'm going to select everything. G, Z. I kind of want to move this up a bit. Let's move it back. I want to select this edge and I'm just going to move it back a little bit like this. Now, where do we go from here? Let's bring this back in to probably about there, maybe a bit further out. Let's keep going. Now I want to, I want to bring this edge down a little bit. So I'm just going to bring it down just a smidgen. And I want it to go into the body. So let's keep going down a bit and let's bring it out to about there. All right, so it's sitting in the body at the moment. We've got this nice groove piece happening. I'm going to do control R again to hold, put a whole bunch of edge loops. Just put the mouse wheel. Now, I want to bring this edge up here. So I'm going to just Probably about there, I'd say. Let's go probably this one as well. So now we've kind of got this bulge happening, like it is in most cars. I believe I have that a little bit too high, but we can edit this very soon. So that's a very nice shape. I'm actually, I actually really do like that shape. It's better than my test one that I did. And I'm just going to kind of now get it below this line here, because we know that this top bit will be connected to the glass. And obviously we can't have it going through there. So I'm just going to kind of just play around, get it below. Just a nice, decent, even, just making it look a bit even. Okay. That doesn't look too bad. So even if I, hide that one so when the glass comes up we do have a nice edge now what is that so I'm just looking at this bit here it doesn't look a right so I'm just going to move that bit down this point I want this point here is there a point there I want that point there we go and now that's a nice even that's pretty good. Let's turn that glass wireframe back on. And I am going to press K for our knife tool. And I'm going to kind of just slice it along here. Let's just slice it along slowly.
and enter. Control L, dang it. Ah, oh, that's because we've only cut it. So we can use Control and select all the faces that we want. We don't want that one, but we want that one. There's a little one there, delete faces. So now we kind of got this nice looking dash. Let's smooth it and subdivision surface on it. Just to make that even a little bit more smoother. Add a modifier. Let's solidify that modifier. Make it a little bit thicker. Let's, we want to auto smooth. So we kind of got that real harsh edge there, which is what I like. And now the next bit, we kind of want to make like a dash where all the information kind of sits. So I'm going to select this dash again. Actually, I'm going to shift D the dash, right click to put it back in place. I'm going to grab this line, control B, and then control I, delete edges. Now let's move this down a bit. I can turn off uh, solidify because we don't need it anymore. I'm going to extrude Z, so straight down. I'm going to, let's size that, whoops, turn off proportional editing, size Z. All right, looking good, looking good. Let's kind of bring that out to there. Size, actually we'll select everything and size on the Y. Maybe not. Let's just select these. And it's all about what do you like? Size Z. I think that looks quite nice. I think it should move forward a little bit, a little bit down. Beautiful. So we kind of got this dash. All right. I'm fairly happy with that. Control N. Now, we don't need these top faces. Delete faces. Delete faces. I don't need the back face. Control L, delete. Yes, delete face. And so now, we've got this cool looking dashboard. Um, let us now kind of want to turn this into a panel. So let's duplicate that. And what I'm going to do is I want, so this is the middle. Where's the middle? This panel, this panel, and this panel is the middle. I'm going to select this line and this line. Let's go this line and this line. Control B. Delete faces, control L, delete faces, let's, ah, oh, dang it, let's go control Z, so I want to, so what I'm doing is creating the screens, so I'm just kind of adding some loop cuts there, where's the center again, one, two, one, two, 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 control B, make that a little bit wide, delete faces, could have selected these ones as well, okay, so I'm just clearing these out. and delete faces. I'm going to bring it forward, E to extrude, delete the rear faces. I don't need a subsurf on these ones. Um, let's flip those normals. So this is what we got. Now let's add a material just for the fun of it. I'm going to add a new material and let's call this 
mat underscore control underscore panel. I kind of like the, let's just go light blue there. Let's change the diffuse to emission. Let's bump it up a little bit, maybe to three. I'm going to go down to here and select rendered. That's a little bit too bright. <laughs> One. And so, kind of got this cool glow coming from the cockpit. Um, this side probably doesn't need it. That's fine. Let's just leave it on there for now. Um, and yeah, let's leave it at this. And then the next bit will create kind of like a center console and maybe something to fill in the back.